When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. Maybe... No, that's not right. I told you never to come down here! wrong with this thing? That dog better not be where I think it is. Get the hell off! I told you not to spoil that fucking muck! there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here, try for yourself.
no, no, that, that's not quite right. Huh, still not quite there. Whoever's pounding on that piano, quit it! Did I not make myself clear? You know what? I have an idea. Go get your crayons. That's actually not bad. Look at you, young lady. It looks like talent runs in the family.
Hey, Princess. I didn't know you were out here. No, no, it's all right. Daddy just tripped. You know, clumsy old peg leg. Oh, there, there. You don't need to worry. Daddy's just tired. So very.
Are you out of your mind? What? You said there was gonna be a party. I just started a bit early. Whoops. you do? Oh, you didn't mean to. Well, that makes it all better, doesn't it? It'll just magically unbreak because you didn't mean to. Go on, get out of here. Go to your room and break shit in there. Just take all your toys and suddenly get good at something.
sick! You're insane! You're not thinking straight! You're right! I am sick! I'm sick of you not being there for us! We need you! I need you! What was the last time you slept with me? Looking like shit, stinking of booze and stale piss. Honey, something got into Mommy's eye, that's all. You be a good little girl and go to sleep. Daddy's working, so we can't disturb him. Mommy has to go downstairs and take a bath. I love you. More than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. After the accident, she became a burden, a disgusting monster screeching out from her bed, an anchor weighing him down. Remember that being there? I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Mm. Yes. Thank you. It's so good to feel that there's still beauty in this world.
leaks in here. This place is a mess. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards. You're not getting away this time. I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight. What are you doing? Put that down! You're much too old for that childish nonsense! Creativity is not a toy, it's a gift! Do you want to squander it like all those careless brats out there?
I warned you time and time again! I won't let you waste time in these mindless doodles! This is for your own good! Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life. But also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season. Where they are wiser and have some stories to tell. Ah, yes! The autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. will do in times of prosperity. We need to see how it fares when misery darkens the sky. No! Put that down! You are doing so I warned you time and time again! I won't let you waste time. This is for your own good. came upon a crossroads. There she stopped and wondered, which way should I go? Up jumped the wolf and gave the poor girl a fright. Do not be afraid, I'm not gonna bite. One of these paths with danger is fraught, while the other one, most assuredly, is not. The little girl in red took a shortcut she knew through a lovely field of dew, but the field grew dark and full of despair and eerie sense of dread filled the morning air. The girl heard the wolf yelling from afar. You have chosen poorly, you will not get far. Had you only learned how shadow and light intertwined on canvas, you could have chosen right. The little girl in red ran as fast as she could, her flowing dark hair tucked under her hood. But she quickly got tired, 
worn out by her flight, and succumbed to the darkness, never to see the light. Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? Ah, yes! The autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. Which part of dark skies did you not understand? will do in times of prosperity. We need to see how it fares when misery darkens the sky. No! Put that down! You are doing so well! will do in times of prosperity. We need to see how it fares when misery darkens the sky.
No! Put that down! You were doing so well! I warned you time and time again! I won't let you waste time in these mindless doodles! This is for your own good! Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? The autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. Which part of dark skies did you not understand? You see? In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. 
Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. I warned you time and time again! I won't let you waste time in these mindless doodles! This is for your own good! Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? You see? In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. That's right! The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer until finally... Marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy, but a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel, hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. Avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving. Keep your head straight! Look at me! And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster slipped in the air. Its perky ears were even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. 
For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. The hag was near, just outside of view, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt a sudden urge to run away but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dark. It was almost over. And there, the princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait. That's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world. Unless it was translated to him through a canvas. I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house, a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. Hey, princess. What have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. But... Why pink? 